Okay, cool. Yo, I'm alive. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Mate, but you I know that. Like, We've been meaning to do this for a minute, man. If I don't get it. finish, man. Ooh, how's it look on your side? How's what? I said, how's it looking on your side? How's it over there? What, you mean the, the social distancing? Yeah, the people, everything. It was cool, wasn't it? You know what I mean? So, um, yeah, like, there are one or two shops open here, though, like, takeaway, takeaway spots. Mm. And, uh, you know, like, I think people here just doing their own thing and stuff. But, like, yeah, the supermarkets, you go, it's, you got to queue, like, 45 minutes to get in and stuff. Yeah. Man, man. How's everything right there, football, man? How's what? Ah, it's been shocking, bro. Is it? But I'm lucky. Yeah. I'm on. I'm on the PlayStation. Yeah. PS. Oh, so I'm still balling out here on you guys. Yeah, I mean Chelsea's still winning the league on PS 2020. Yeah. Trust. We're gonna try and um, cut these down into like 10 minutes. So we're gonna do like 10 minute segments, talking about one thing to the next. We could just post them up like 10 minutes and stuff. Yeah, I mean if you like it, like scrab all of that. You know what I mean? But you know, let's let's get straight into it, man. Because I'm seeing people do the PFA team of the year. It's scary, man. Yeah, you know I mean, I saw Jack Grealish ahead of Henderson. What do you think about that? Uh, yeah, I think it's been better to me. Yeah, I mean, like I like, I like, I like, I like but, but I, but I think uh, Grealish has been a, the better player. So leading lead to win don't mean nothing to you. It does, it does, but I don't know. If we're just talking about individual individual achievement, like I think him keeping Aston Villa up is the same thing as uh, Liverpool winning the league. But they were bottom, only bottom. They, but they might stay up if the if the season was over. <laughs> up until now, um, only one of them looks like a 60, 70 million player. It's not Henderson. Yeah. So. Sure. No, but it's not based on the value of the player. Come on, man. No? Huh? It can't be based on value of the player. It can't be based on how much he's worth. It's, it's one of the. Because sometimes how much you worth might just be how long you got left on your contract. Yeah, but. How old you are. No, that's what I'm saying. Like, did, did Roy Keane ever win player of the season? No. Yeah, I mean the Tony Adams. Yeah, I mean yeah. so it's like I need these are amazing. Well, Vidic did. Their teams to, to great things. Yeah, I mean Vidic did. Who Vidic? Yeah, but Vidic. That's, he excelled in his position. He was not only the best captain, but was like the best defender. I don't think I don't think Henderson is the best midfielder. You know. But that's what the people are saying. They're saying he's PFA Player of the Year contender. Who Henderson? Or, yeah, because if you get PFA Team of the Year, no, I think it's, I think you kind of. I think it's a contender. I just, I just don't think he's the best. If I had to no, but then Grealish has to be a contender. Then you can't yeah, beat me. PFA team. He is a contender. For but, PFA player of the year. Yeah. Because this is how I do it. Yeah, this is how I do it. You want, you want to break it down to 20 or maybe 40 and then, and then make your choice from there. Yeah? So I would take two players from each team and then I would slowly just start cutting, cutting away. And I think, I think Grealish might be in the, in the 20 best players in the, in the, in the premiership this season, based on performance. Made that statement, the statement that you made off air about this being the worst last five years since you've been born for football, world class. Um, yeah, I don't know whether I should take that back. But anyway, let, let me not take it back. I, I'm, I'm <laughs> with it, yeah? I, I think in terms, in terms of like the, the spread of like world class talent around the world, yeah, uh, I think this might be the worst era for football in terms of world class talent spread around the world. So I, I think I think where you know whether it was the the nine maybe I'm just looking back nostalgically where where it was the nineties or the two thousands or wherever you'd have four or five world class midfielders playing all around the world in different places. You had, you had at this at the same period in history you had Ronaldo Zidane, uh, Ronaldo Zidane, Figo. Uh, you know, you had Scholes, Bex, you had um, Henri, Vieira. But you have Coutinho, bro. Huh? Neymar, Messi, uh, Ronaldo. You see, but it, it could, obviously, the fact, that, the fact that we have two guys who are so ahead of everyone else, yeah, mm. or we had, because I think Ronaldo is now among the pack in terms of his output. I don't, I don't think he's far ahead of, of everybody else, whatever, yeah? Even, yeah. even Messi, I think, I think he's getting closer and closer to the pack. Like, he, mm. like his numbers and Jaden Sancho's numbers this season are not that different. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's similar. So, no. um, yeah. I just feel like this, these, I when I say this era, I'm talking about last three, four years. This, yeah. yeah. I, I, this I, is what I, I think. Like now is more about teams and tactics. 
you know. What what I feel like is that um, what happens a lot of the time now is that obviously we become so obsessed with numbers that player performance doesn't mean anything. You know what I'm saying? So if you don't make a certain amount of tackles, if you don't do this, you can always find a stat why you look at someone, even defenders, oh, he only made 10 tackles this game, that mm-hmm. guy only made two, but then you might not make less tackles because you might lose the ball less or you might not, you might do better interceptions. But we're so numbers-based mm-hmm. that, you know what I mean, and so visual because, let's be real, we didn't watch as much Liga games mm-hmm. probably as most people do now or Bundesliga or any other league that we do now. We even analyse the championship in a much more... Um, much more thorough, uh, thorough effort than we used to back in the past. You know what I'm saying? Like, so there was a lot of world-class players back then, but there's a lot of players that they had bad, terrible seasons or maybe two and a half years off or not as good as they were. But because we weren't following them year to year, we didn't have this thing where, oh, you're world-class one year, you're not world-class the next, you're world-class again. Whereas this year, we'll look at someone, this, these days, we look at someone like Hazard and we say, okay, cool. You had the bad season in 2015, he's not world-class. Great season then, 16, 17, he's world-class season afterwards, eh, not world class. Season after that, yeah, he is world class. So we start looking at them like, mm, is he really a top player because he had a bad or decent average season? When if you go back to the past, even the best, like Raul and that, some seasons they weren't as good as they were like the season before, the season after. Do you know what I mean? Like all players have like, up and downs. It's, it's a rarity, rarity for players to keep up Messi, Ronaldo. Even Henri, like, Henri keeps it like a high level, not as high as them, but it's a rarity for a player to come yeah. around and keep it at a high, high level. That, that's why, that's why, even though I said what I said about the lack of uh, World class players, I have a lot of sympathy yeah. for the guys right now because yeah. they're under the microscope so much. Everything is social media, your stats, your assists, yeah. your assists everything is calculated, everything is put up there. And but when, when we look back at the other players, like I, I remember uh, me and you were having um, uh, the Lampard uh, Iniesta debate or whatever. Yeah? Iniesta all day. You know, that was a classic one. You can get, you can get that one on YouTube, you know, if you have a look. But, um, and uh, we're doing research. And I remember finding a season where he only scored two goals. In Yester. Now, imagine if that was now a, a world-class midfielder attacking, playing left wing. Henderson. Midfield, playing whatever. Yeah? And, yeah, and Henderson gets, Henderson. Henderson gets slaughtered for it. Unless, unless but now he's PFA player, yeah. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. That, that even, even that Henderson one, it feels like Oh, we've we've destroyed this guy for years, so we feel bad for him. So let, let's let's give him this one. Yeah, you know I mean, let's yeah. let's eat a bit of humble pie or let's let's whatever. But if you're being honest, he's not better than Kevin De Bruyne. If you're being honest, yeah. he's not better than Ronaldo. Salah, he's not, he's not he's not the best midfielder in his team. Yeah, I'm mean, not talking about uh, better than. Uh, um, but then we're not a super. If you look at midfielders in the Premiership. It's been, it's been a very average year. Very average. Mm. Yeah, I mean, it's true. Kante is really dropped, and Ronaldo, and yeah, Kante. That's a Kante is really dropped. Yeah, Kante is dropped. Uh, Jorginho hasn't performed. Uh, you know, Jorginho yeah, no, at the level that we thought that I said he would be. Oh, oh yeah, shut up. All, <laughs> all, 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 like the young, up and coming. So no, nobody's at, uh, is consistently performing at an extremely high level. Yeah. Well, let us know in it. Like, if you guys feel like. What we're saying is not true, and that they, they're world class. There's much world class players now as there probably is back then, yeah. which I don't think that. I think there's much world class talent now. I don't know if there's as much world class players, but there's the talent. Like the talent there, there's a lot of super talented players. But I just going on my end of statement. I believe that, like what you said about systems and the way of playing fitness and stuff like that. So you get players like Ozil or Hazard, or you know what I mean. Even Hazard being out of shape back in the day, him being out of shape because players are so fit now. It make, if you even put on 10 pounds, it's a massive difference. Whereas back then, you could put on weight and you just run. You wouldn't run. You wouldn't run as much. You would just get the ball and only go forward. But now, these days, you're going back and forth. You know what I mean? There's only like three or four players in the world that I can truly look at and say, these players are truly only going forward and not depending at all. And I think that's Messi, Neymar, Salah-ish, ish. Yeah, and, huh? Ronaldo. Even Ronaldo, even Ronaldo tries to get back every now and again. But okay, those are like the only four players in the world that I can think of that actively are not even jogging backwards. You know what I'm saying? Whereas back in the day, there were hundreds of players that didn't get back. Hundreds. Get back, get Do you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah, exactly. So, you yeah, know, obviously. You played in midfield, you had to play both yeah. sides. Yeah, I mean, like Zidane was getting back and tackling, getting back and defending, getting forward. You, know I mean? you can't just stay up there and just like do your own thing or whatever. But mm-hmm. I think as well, uh, the difference, the difference. Yeah, like, I think you're right. I think the, I think the talent pool is still massive. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's unbelievably talented. But like you can see by the quality yeah. of goals that are scored, uh, mm-hmm. 
dribbles, you know, and the team goes to attacker and all that sort of stuff. But I think I think what's missing is that like world class mentality. Mm. Yeah, that like okay, I did this trick, yeah, where I laid it here, I flicked it here, whatever. But can I do it in a Champions League semi final? Can I do it in a final? But yeah. not, not just that as well. Like, no. that goal, goal. like how, how many players are really stepping up to the occasion and making themselves? But, let, but not even that as well. Look, if you look at certain players, yeah, let's say let's say um Endembele is a perfect example. Before we go, yeah, yeah. Endembele back in the day, he does an amazing long shot, passes the ball well, this that. Maybe not fit. Managers are actively picking Eric Dyers, mm. who are, for me is not near as good as him, just because those guys run up and down this and quote cool. unquote. Yeah. yeah, to suit the system more. Do you know what I mean? So players like that are kind of getting weeded out, innit? They're getting weeded mm-hmm. out. Like, yeah, you're a good player, but mm-hmm. you don't, you know what I mean? You're not, you're not, you're not chasing the ball down. You're not, you know, you look lazy. So they, so they're making something that never used to be an issue. Like, also, players at Ozu were not lazy back in the day. They conserved energy. That's what you saw. Now it's just pure laziness. If you're not sprinting against the ball, then you're pure lazy. You know what I'm saying? So, well, you know. In at all. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, so it's that sort of thing. Sharing, I wasn't spraying at all. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Alan Shearer, second half of his career. <laughs>